But if you do these two things, you will make it through the 42 days of training and be here to greet your parents for Plea Parents Weekend in early August. The first thing is really easy. Do what you're told. Do what you're told. And the second one is going to be harder for you because you're going to make some mistakes. Some of you have never made a mistake in your young lives. You've been that good. You've been that accomplished. But you will fail. And some of you are going to want to give up. But the second thing you have to do every single day is give it your best. You do those two things. Do what you're told. You give it your best. And this plebe summer experience will work out just fine. Now, of course, your training starts really right now. And part of your training as a soon-to-be Naval Academy plebe is to understand the very history of who we are, what we represent, what our values are. So I'll tell you just a very short story as you can begin to know some of the most famous naval sayings that you'll ever, ever hear. This one dates back to August 5th, 1864, near the tail end of the Civil War. The battle to uh, capture Atlanta was centered around one thing, to prevent the waterway of the Confederate Navy to get into Mobile, Alabama to resupply the Confederate forces. Rear Admiral David Glasgow Farragut was in charge of the Union Navy. He brought 15 ships to include four ironclads to Mobile Bay at 5.30 in the morning. A quick moving tide was moving through the harbor. As he sent his ironclads in first, with the rest of his 14 ships and two columns lashed together, he sat in his flagship, USS Hartford, second in the line. As USS Tecumseh, an ironclad with 114 souls, went through the harbor, staying away from the guns of Fort Morgan. Hit a mine, commonly known as a torpedo in those days. A soft explosion happened underneath, and then whoosh! The bow of the ship shot straight up, and it sank like an arrow coming off an archer's bow. All 114 souls lost at sea. The lead captain on the USS Brooklyn, Captain Alden, stopped the formation, reversed his engines. In the smoke of combat, Admiral Farragut could not see the battlefield of the Gulf of Mobile Bay. He climbed the main mast. He strapped himself to the rigging so he could see the battle. He called for right full rudder of the USS Hartford. And as he sailed up next to the lead ship, he yelled at Captain Alden, Damn those torpedoes! Full speed ahead! Full speed ahead indeed. Class of 2023, your charge is now to go full speed ahead. As we think about where you are right now, we think about some of the greatest naval heroes that have really depicted the energy, the personality of our United States Navy. I can think of no greater naval hero than that of John Paul Jones, buried right here in our Naval Academy crypt. John Paul Jones was a diminutive character, only five foot six, an immigrant from Scotland. He never lost a battle at sea. He was known for saying, I have not yet begun to fight. I wish to have no connection with any ship that does not sail fast where I intend to go in harm's way. But on this day, as you were moments away from taking an oath, an oath not to a person, but to an ideal, to promote and protect freedom and democracy, and take an oath to our Constitution. John Paul Jones in 1777, 242 years ago, was recruiting young men to go into combat combat that was not very attractive for a lot of new Americans. He walked the streets of Providence. He walked the streets of Boston. He had a flyer. And those words from 1777 ring just as true then as they do today. Sign on. Come sail with me. The stature of our homeland is no more than the measure of ourselves. Our job is to keep her free. Our will is to keep the torch of freedom burning for all. To this solemn purpose, we call on the young, the brave, the strong, and the free. Heed my call. Come to the sea. Come sail with me. Class of 2023, sail on.
congratulations. May God bless all of you, the class of 2023, your parents, your loved ones, our United States Naval Academy, our Navy Marine Corps team, and our United States of America. Thank you all. Go Navy! Yeah.